So how was it being able to return to Elijah Price in this film? Kind of comfortable. Uh, it's kind of great to have a character that you like that um, I think I have a pretty good understanding of and I have a lot of empathy for um, to be able to kind of step back in that skin and uh, let him let him fly. Plus, I wanted him to have some kind of uh, closure, and I think this is, serves him well. That's great. Just talk about the merging of these two really incredible films and making them well, into three, this. <laughs> well, now it's a third, right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of three incredible films. Um, yeah. Knight always said that Unbreakable was the beginning of a trilogy, and so I expected, well, okay, we'll do this, and then two years later we'll do the next one, and two years later we'll do the next one. So over the years, as it approached, you know, 18 years, and I'd see him off, you know, are we making this movie or what? And finally one day he called to say that he'd made this film called Split, and he wanted me to see it. And I was like, why? He said, just watch it, we'll talk. I watched it, I called him and said, what's this mean? He said, well, it means if this movie makes money, then that'll be the second part and we'll make the next part of the film where all three of you guys come together. And I was like, oh, okay. And I get to unite with which one of them. He's like, I haven't made up my mind yet, but we'll see. So it's kind of good that he, you, he, he figured out a way to bring these characters together so that Elijah, in his frailty, has a comrade who's as strong as David Dunn who he always considered his opposite but enemy. So it yeah. works out quite well. And how does Glass really turn, have a unique approach to the superhero genre? Well, everybody assumes, you know, superheroes are extraordinary human beings. But I look at this as an extraordinary human being movie. You can call it a superhero movie because there's a whole comic book trope that's behind it. but. When you look at how those movies work, superhero movies work in an interesting sort of way, that the rules and regulations of those worlds have to be agreed upon by most of the people that are in it. So if you're in the Marvel Universe, we agree that you know, people can fly, people come from other places, people come from other dimensions, and there is a specific kind of extraordinariness. In a world like Unbreakable or Glass or Split, People can do extraordinary things, but if a person came in and told you, I think I'm bulletproof, here's a gun, shoot me, you would say, well, can we talk about that first? And they would try to talk you out of your extraordinary idea, which is basically what Sarah's trying to do in this particular film. Uh, and they've figured out a way, or as Elijah would say, you have delved into yourself to the point where you found that extraordinary thing that's in you and you've been able to enhance it and bring it forward, which is what he believes is possible for a lot of people on the planet, that there are a lot of people who can do things they don't realize they're capable of. They just need to tap into themselves and find it. Fantastic. 